<laughs> Hello, Marley, Harvey, Ty, and Jarrah. How are you all doing? Good. How are you? Hey, hey, Greg. Thanks. thanks for having us. Um, you've been quite busy. You, you've been on tour. Is this like your sort of first official tour as a band? On the road. Yes, first tour. What was on tour? This was <laughs> the boys are on tour. On tour. Yeah. That yes, so scary. Definitely <laughs> first time four of us have been on tour together. Yeah, it's fun. It's very fun. <laughs> it's very funny as well because you you see like all different sides of each other that we've never seen before. Okay. Yeah. We're a closer unit now. Yeah. What What do you mean by that? You mean you're talking about you know people you, you see you sort of at, at the end of the night at the start of the day as well in the car. Yeah. Well, we're all we all obviously know each other as musicians. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cause that's our job yeah. but now we know each other on a personal level like on a different planet now yeah. Just been yeah. spending way too much time together yeah. 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 we've, we've been friends for years but it was like last week we spent like i think it was like 90 hours together wow. in like you know just straight so it's like you really get to know someone after that <laughs> and this is kind of a band that came together during the lockdowns as well so sort of before the lockdowns you had you were sort of stopped by the lockdown so this big this is like the first chance you've had to be yeah. spend this much time yeah. together 90 hours yeah really. mm. yeah me and marley started playing together in like 2019 but like yeah the band was like kind of formed back end of that so we went basically straight into it a feels lockdown. like a different band now. yeah it feels like a very yeah. different band um, so you've done, you sort of, there's a Botany View up in Sydney, there's a Canberra, there's a bonus to the charity show here at La La La's, yeah. and working up to the, uh, to the, to the mini end of summer festival. Um, what, who, when you're in the car, who controls the stereo? It depends who's driving. Because yeah. exactly. they have to like, have the um, impending doom of being the responsible adult in right. the car, yeah. driving, so they get a say in the music. Because everyone else gets to chill out. And... For the Canberra leg, it was Marley. He right. was he was designated driver, and yeah. But it was very hot, and I I think the sun got to me because I was pretty what crazy. Were you <laughs> oh well, we're going to see the Chili Peppers tomorrow. Of course. So um, we were listening to the one of like their live. Right. So we were just what what year was their live this live album? Oh no, they're we, just the set list. Just the from set list from New Zealand. From New Zealand. Yeah, they're so we're getting ready for the yeah. yeah. So we yeah. put that on. Um, we listened to it. We actually listened to a lot of Pink on the way down. Yeah, Pink. Oh, yeah, we did Pink, too. Pink yeah. and Miley Cyrus and Lana Del Rey. Lana Del Rey. <laughs> Lots of Lana Del Rey. Nice, very good. And um, Violent Soho. Oh, yeah. what, what are the albums you have? Is this like a way of listing your influences? Yeah. 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 Miley Cyrus to Violent Soho. Yes. With a bit of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Although I have noticed there is no be no updates in the Red Hot Chili Pe Peppers podcast. I thought you might have checked yeah. that out. <laughs> Man, that's not on my behalf. <laughs> it's your podcast. <laughs> it's the universe, man. Yeah, there's been a well, there's, I mean, there's, 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 there's new episodes. There's stuff happening. There's members back in the band and all that stuff. But anyway, let's mm. talk about that. Um, since last time we spoke to you, you've, um, you've released the... Uh, well, you, we spoke to you because of the release. <laughs> The Curly Jefferson EP, um, and have you been writing stuff since then? Plenty, plenty of new songs. We're about to go back into the studio and record the next two singles of our next EP. Um, and Isle of Dog, which we played before, is one you mean of the one you're about to play. We're about, about to play, play. Yeah. Yeah. the magic of radio. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, we'll talk about that. Is it like because so so the the Curly Jefferson EP is this kind of you mentioned a bit of Chili Peppers, but it's more like I don't know. There's a there's that there is that groove and that '90s sort of rock grunge kind of sound. Do you feel like as you're writing more songs and being together as a band that there is I don't know style changing, developing? Oh, that you're... definitely. I feel like um, these new songs are definitely a lot different from because a lot of the earlier ones when I was just joining the band there was a mm. lot of '90s grunge, which is great fun. But I think um, as I got closer with everybody and being able to give my musical input. Mm. Um, the songs have definitely changed a lot and I think it's cool to explore definitely different types of genres when you're mm. making music it, yeah it sounds like it's a more together like it's not just me you know? mm. it's like it, it's oh it's written by everyone like all the songs everyone, like, everyone, someone ha comes in with an idea but then we all work on it together and all the songs I reckon if we like release something new now it would absolutely sound like a cohesive mm -hmm. story now like in the EP of Curly Jefferson, they're all very mix-matched and yeah. different 
energies mm. and mm. Mm. Yeah, it's a bit more of a concept with our new ones right okay. yes. does the concept have anything to do the, the, the first the EP and if you recognize the name well I don't love you to so deal with that <laughs> maybe I will deal with it Mm. Maybe I'll deal with it the way I deal with Curly Jefferson. <laughs> <laughs> so, mm -hmm. uh, is, is there any more Marty oh, Boosh references? We watched that one on tour. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, bro. We were having it. Yeah. That was 3 a.m. That was your after show party. Watching, turning up, watching yeah. the Marty Boosh. We didn't, yeah. we didn't bring home anyone. It was just, it was just, it was just other boys. We yeah. chilling out. Boosh. Watching the Mighty Boosh. <laughs> watching <laughs> Noel Fielding. It was old Greg. Old Greg was at the after party. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's a bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the we we um, I think the new songs uh, it's kind of taking on a different tone mm. in um, the music and the yeah. lyrics. Like it's a bit more like mature even. Yeah. Well, we're gonna hear a song soon, like a song that you haven't recorded yet. No, we haven't no. recorded. You're gonna yeah. play it here, and you've been rehearsing. Rehe is it different now that you can actually get into a rehearsal room whenever you want? You can be, you know, four sweaty people just sort of breathing <laughs> on each other. Yeah, this is a little different in a rehearsal room. Yeah, yeah. it in. um, it really, it we it, we were all missing it for so long. Mm. So being able to do that again is something that yeah. is. Very it's not sweaty in here, bro. It's not that sweaty nice now. Air, air the aircon, the ABC taxpayer funded air conditioning. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, and you two, uh, Jarrett and Harvey, now you guys are the Wollongong Conservatorium people, aren't oh, you? Oh, yeah. You yes. Know, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so we, <laughs> we, we, we kind of, our friendship started when we started playing like jazz together yeah. um, at, at high school, in the jazz band high school and at the Wollongong Conservatorium. Yeah. 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 Shout out to Eric Dumand. Yes. Of course, who is often in this room yeah. talking he about is, jazz and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that a part of the thing, or like, do you do you also do you get your jazz chops out in other bands? So you know you don't need to bring them into here. No, Jared will bring out anything. You really <laughs> <want to laughs> um, I play. Yeah, I think as much as like jazz is my like my thing as well. Mm. But I I love rock music and mm. the, the type of style that we play. So I think I try and as much as they all blend together with like my whole sound, I guess, mm. of what I am as a drummer. It it's very separate in a way. It's good to know what you can do. Yeah. He yeah. says that, but like, um, if we have a gig <laughs> up in Sydney and his, his Sydney con friends come along, um, we got the song with the drum solo. Oh yeah. And you and he'll, he'll definitely pull out some jazz yeah. chops. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Them. As yeah. much as much as it's separate, it's all very much <laughs> right. together. Right. And well, the yeah. show we're talking about here, because this tour sort of wraps up at the Heritage Hotel in Bulli, Friday, February the seventeenth, at World's End. I mean, that's not really that uh, positive, is it really? I mean, I do have seen the movie, World's End, though. Oh, it? no, this is, so, it's got the pirate ships, and one of the ships is upside down, because it's, um, like, the DJ stuff's on this side, the band stuff's on this side, and it's, um, it's like Pirates of the Caribbean reference ah, at World's End, you yeah. know, when the ship goes upside down underneath the water. Of course, absolutely. And it's all rainbow, because it's the start of, um, the Pride it's Month. Pride Month yeah, as well. So that's really It nice. starts on the 17th, so we made it all rainbow, and we've got heaps of, like, um, you know... We've got Chelsea Dagger DJing as well, so that's great. They, yeah. They're someone who often, uh, at the, um... The deer gaze venue at La 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 has been playing. Yeah, that's yeah. That's right. so we were trying to make it really like inclusive and safe that's great. space. Yeah, this is uh, Midnight Tides, Tombo and the Idiots, what a band. The Sweaty Bettys who also played deer gaze at Chelsea Dagger as well. And is Left Lane a band as well? Yes. 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 And Left Lane as well. So They're going to headline. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, I organised it. I'm mm. like, what is it, a booking agent? Yeah, that, sure you are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then I was like, ah, we don't need a headline. We'll get someone else to. So then we can like chill out afterwards and have yeah. a few beers. Watch my British episodes. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Right. And so, um, so tell me about the live show. As it says here, a punch in your face, groovy rock band. You'll be sure to dig. That may be an old bio. But um, what sort of what what what's that's, the live? That's show? a very old bio. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. don't remember yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> what is the Midnight Tides live show like? Um. It's just like a really like it's quite energetic. Um, it's very um, audience and stage mm -hmm. connection. Like yeah. we go off the yeah. stage, we give people the mic um, so they can sing whatever they want. You know, we yeah. <laughs> I, I think also as we've like spending all this time together the last few weeks, as we've grown as friends, um, the live shows definitely grown. Like the way we're able to interact on stage now and interact with the audience. People feed off 
yeah, uh, yeah. of our yeah. Yeah. Include connection. Everyone, you know? Yeah, that's something yeah. I've noticed a lot recently since this has started. Like our stage connection mm. yeah. has grown a lot just between the Me four of us. Me and Marley trying to headbutt each other and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it does so. Very that, gently. Yeah, very gently. With love. With love. All right. So, uh, look, if people want uh, tickets and stuff, do you, do you guys have a website? Do bands have websites anymore? It's a link tree that we have where yeah. you can just add the links individually. Mm-hmm. So you can add, like, your Spotify link, yeah. the gigs coming up, tickets and stuff. You can find around. that on the Instagram. Yeah, right? on the, in the Instagram. Yep, TikTok. Bio. No, no, I don't have to. <laughs> yeah, Do you I have think... TikTok, Ty? No, that's dangerous. No, Ty, 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 Ty. Is that jazz? Probably Wollongong Conservatorium. Jazz TikTok. <laughs> crazy. All right, so you're going to play a new song. The Midnight Tides are with us. They're going to play a new song for us. Now, you mentioned the name before. Tell me about this song. Well, it's called The Isle of Dog. It's a dark personal tale of a dog that comes out of the use of substance abuse. The Isle of Dog is a metaphysical place, and I am that dog. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> we, better, yeah. we better let you uh, or lead you all by the collars over to the uh, to the fancy microphone just to yeah. give us a play. And, and this is like going to be a very different sound. Like mm. it's the beginning of like a new era for our band, and um, we're pretty excited about that. It's also definitely a bit more stripped back than the live. Yeah. 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 We only let you brought, bring like. Eight pieces of a drum kit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we won't be jumping off the walls. It's true to change it up, though. And, and, cool, though. and little to no headbutting, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to break anything. <laughs> yeah. Ty, Marley, Harvey, and Jared, thank you so much for coming in today. Let's uh, let's hear some live music from the Midnight Tides on ABC Laura. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for cheers. having us, mate. Cheers. 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 Look at that. <laughs>